A garden is only as good as its soil. If you've ever planted something with high hopes, only to watch it struggle and wilt, chances are your soil is in bad shape. Dead soil lacks life, it's compacted, dry, and void of essential nutrients. But here's the good news. No matter how lifeless your soil seems, you can bring it back. With the right techniques, your barren dirt can transform into a thriving, nutrient-rich haven for vegetables. Before jumping into solutions, let's identify the problem. Dead soil usually exhibits signs like extreme dryness, a hard crust on the surface, lack of earthworms, and poor water retention. It may also be overly sandy or heavy with clay, making it inhospitable for plant roots. Often the root cause is neglect, overuse of chemical fertilizers, or erosion that has stripped the soil of its organic matter. Healthy soil is full of life, teeming with beneficial microbes, fungi, and decomposing organic matter that create the perfect environment for plant growth. Our goal is to restore this balance. Compacted soil is one of the biggest hurdles in reviving a dead garden. The first step is to loosen it up so air, water, and roots can penetrate. If your soil is extremely compacted, use a garden fork to break it apart. Avoid tilling deeply, as this can destroy microbial life. Instead, gently work the top 6 to 8 inches of soil to improve its structure. Adding organic matter at this stage will also help prevent compaction from returning. Organic matter is the heart of fertile soil. Without it, your soil remains lifeless and incapable of supporting healthy vegetables. The best way to enrich your soil is by adding compost. Well-decomposed compost introduces beneficial bacteria and fungi, while also improving the soil's ability to retain moisture and nutrients. If compost isn't readily available, you can use decomposed manure, shredded leaves, or aged wood chips. These materials gradually break down, feeding your soil and bringing it back to life. Compost tea is a powerful natural way to introduce beneficial microbes into dead soil. It's made by steeping high-quality compost in water for 24 to 48 hours, creating a microbe-rich liquid that can be poured directly onto your soil. This boosts microbial activity, helping break down organic material and make nutrients available for plants. Using compost tea weekly can speed up soil restoration, making it ready for planting much sooner. A simple soil test can reveal nutrient deficiencies and pH imbalances. Most vegetables thrive in soil with a pH between 6.0 and 7.0. If your soil is too acidic, adding agricultural lime can bring it up. If it's too alkaline, incorporating peat moss or sulfur will help balance it out. A nutrient-rich soil contains nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace minerals. Organic fertilizers like bone meal for phosphorus, blood meal for nitrogen, and kelp meal for potassium can help restore these essential nutrients without harming soil life. Dead soil often has poor drainage or, you know, dries out too quickly. Amending the soil with organic matter naturally enhances its ability to retain moisture while allowing excess water to drain. If your soil is heavy clay, adding sand or perlite can, well, further improve its structure. Additionally, a thick layer of mulch, such as straw, grass clippings, or shredded leaves, will help regulate soil temperature and moisture, preventing it from drying out too quickly while feeding the soil as it breaks down. One of the most effective ways to rebuild soil is by growing cover crops. 
These plants work to break up compacted soil, fix nitrogen and prevent erosion. Some of the best cover crops for revitalizing dead soil include clover, alfalfa, rye, and buckwheat. Planting a cover crop in the off-season and cutting it down before planting your vegetables will add organic material to the soil and boost its fertility. Once your soil starts showing signs of life, certain vegetables can further enhance its fertility. These plants work symbiotically with the soil, adding nutrients and encouraging microbial activity. Legumes such as peas, beans, and lentils are nitrogen fixers, meaning they pull nitrogen from the air and store it in their roots, enriching the soil for future crops. Deep-rooted vegetables like daikon radish, carrots, and turnips help break up compacted soil, making it more hospitable for other plants. These vegetables naturally aerate the soil as they grow, improving drainage and root penetration. Leafy greens such as spinach, chard, and kale help prevent soil erosion while contributing organic matter as they decompose. By rotating these crops seasonally, you'll maintain and improve soil health year after year. Now that you've revived your soil, maintaining it is essential. Avoid overtilling, as this can disrupt soil life. Instead, continue adding organic matter regularly. Keep your soil covered year-round with mulch or cover crops to prevent erosion and moisture loss. Practicing crop rotation ensures that nutrients aren't depleted and pests don't become a problem. Lastly, avoid chemical fertilizers and pesticides that can harm the beneficial bacteria and fungi you've worked so hard to restore. Instead, stick to natural fertilizers and organic pest control methods. Dead soil doesn't have to mean the end of your gardening dreams. By aerating, adding organic matter, boosting microbial life, balancing nutrients and planting soil-enhancing vegetables, you can turn lifeless dirt into a thriving vegetable garden. The process takes time, but with patience and consistent care your soil will improve each season, rewarding you with lush, healthy harvests. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe to Hydrohaven for more expert gardening tips. Share this video with fellow gardeners, and let's work together to create thriving, productive gardens everywhere.